What is the scientific method? How is science done? It can be difficult sometimes to define research methods in a way that will clearly distinguish science from non-science. However, there is a set of core principles that make up the bones of scientific research. These principles are widely accepted within the scientific community. Although there is no fixed set of steps that scientists always follow during an investigation, and there is no single path that leads scientists to knowledge, there are certain features of science that give it a distinct way of investigating. Scientific investigations examine, gain new knowledge, or build on previous knowledge about phenomena. A phenomenon is any occurrence that is observable. It can be simply a burning match shown in the figure below, as well as the structure of a cell and the prey of a lion. A phenomenon may be a feature of matter, energy, or time. For example, Isaac Newton made observations of the phenomenon of the moon's orbit. Galileo Galilei made observations of phenomena related to swinging pendulums, and Charles Darwin made observations of unique plant and animal species. Although procedures vary from one field of scientific inquiry to another, certain features distinguish scientific inquiry from other types of knowledge. Scientific methods are based on gathering observable, empirical, which means produced by experiment or observation, and measurable evidence that is critically evaluated. The scientific method is not a step-by-step -step linear process. It is a way of learning about the world through the application of knowledge. Scientists must be able to have an idea of what the answer to an investigation should be. In order for scientists to make educated guesses about the answers, they will base their guesses on previous knowledge, with the notion of extending that knowledge. Scientists will often make an observation, then form a hypothesis to explain why a phenomenon occurred. They use all of their knowledge and a bit of imagination in their journey of discovery. A hypothesis is a suggested explanation of a question or problem based on evidence that can be tested by observation or experimentation. A hypothesis absolutely must be testable. It gains credibility by being tested over and over again and by surviving attempts to prove it wrong. Scientists may test and reject several hypotheses before solving a problem. Scientific investigations involve the collection of data through observation, the formation and testing of hypotheses by experimentation, and analysis of the results that involves reasoning. Scientific investigations begin with observations that lead to questions. We will use an everyday example to show what makes up a scientific investigation. Imagine that you walk into a room and the room is dark. You observe that the room appears dark, and you question why that room is dark. In an attempt to find explanations to this phenomenon, you develop several different hypotheses. One hypothesis might be that the room does not have a, have a light source at all. Another hypothesis might be that the lights are turned off. Still another might be that the light bulb has burned out. Worse yet, you could be going blind. To discover the answer, you experiment. You feel your way around the room and find a light switch and turn it on. No light. You repeat the experiment flicking the switch back and forth. Still nothing. This means your first two hypotheses, that the room is dark because 1. it does not have a light source, and 2. the lights are off, have been disproved. You think of more experiments to test your hypotheses, such as switching on a flashlight to prove that you are not blind. In order to accept your last remaining hypothesis as the answer, you could predict that changing the light bulb will fix the problem. If your predictions about this hypothesis succeed, changing the light bulb fixes the problem, the original hypothesis is valid and is accepted. However, in some cases, your predictions will not succeed. Changing the light bulb does not fix the problem, and you will have to start over again with a new hypothesis. Perhaps there is a short circuit somewhere in the house, or the power might be out. The general process of a scientific investigation is summed up in the figure below. Scientists first make observations that raise questions. An observation is the act of, of noting or detecting phenomenon through the senses. For example, noting that a room is dark is an observation made through sight. In order to explain the observed phenomenon, scientists develop a number of possible explanations or hypotheses. A hypothesis is suggested explanation for a phenomenon or a suggested explanation for a relationship between many phenomena. Hypotheses are always based on evidence that can be tested by observation or experimentation. Scientific investigations are required to test hypotheses. Scientists mostly base hypotheses on prior observations or on extensions of existing scientific explanations. Though many people describe a hypothesis as an educated guess, that definition is not scientifically accurate. To define a hypothesis as an educated guess is like calling a tricycle a vehicle with three. This definition of a tricycle leaves out most of its important and characteristic feature, 
its wheels. The educated guess definition of a hypothesis also leaves out the concept's most important and the characteristic feature, the purpose of the hypotheses. People generate hypotheses as early attempts to explain patterns observed in nature or to predict the outcomes of experiments. For example, in science one could correctly call the following statement a hypothesis. Identical twins can have different personalities because environment influences personality. Scientific methods require hypotheses that are falsifiable. That is, they must be framed in a way that allow other scientists to prove them false. Proving a hypothesis to be false is usually done by observation and experimentation. However, confirming or failing to falsify a hypothesis does not necessarily mean the hypothesis is true. For example, a person comes to a new country and observes only white sheep. This person might form the hypothesis, all sheep in this country are white. This statement can be called a hypothesis because it is falsifiable. It can be tested and proved wrong. Anyone could falsify the hypothesis by observing a single black sheep, shown in the figure below. If the experimental uncertainties remain small, could the person reliably distinguish the observed black sheep from a goat or small horse? And if the experimenter has correctly interpreted the hypothesis, finding a black sheep falsifies the only white sheep hypothesis. However, you cannot call a failure to find non-white sheep as proof that no non-white sheep exists. So in summary, scientific investigations involve the collection of data through observation, the formation and testing of hypotheses by experimentation, and analysis of the results that involves reasoning. So don't forget, go back, there's a, some videos embedded in the reading that will help clarify some things. Take a look over the diagrams. Uh, here's your order of the scientific method, um, and you want to use this information to organize that graphic organizer.